Make sure you subscribe to this man's YouTube channel. Come here, Lou. Come here. Come here. Get in here. Make sure you subscribe to this man's YouTube channel. He's nasty. Let's get it. Barber plan, bitch. All right, now we're just combing through your hair, getting ready to start our guideline. A lot of people say not to do the guideline with the clipper facing that way, or the trimmer facing that way, but I like to just to make sure it's nice and clean. I always say that the foundation of the haircut isn't crispy and even on both sides, and neither is the fade. Once you're done with that guy line, you're just gonna go in with your shaver and be sure to get every little hair. The smoother the better, the closer the better. Just be sure to ask your client if they do break out with the shaver just because I know some people do break out. The shaver is really important too when it comes to this type of fade just because it adds a whole nother level to the blend. Instead of just going from the trimmer up into the clipper and the, and the guidelines adding that shaper gives you like that real skin fade look and it just makes it all blending better now i'm coming in with my true barber velcro strip basically what it does is just hold the hair up i think it's way better than pins I just use it for the front hairline and just to hold up any loose hairs on the sides just because I like to taper the front hairline. You'll see me probably taper the front hairline in most of my cuts just because I think it makes it way more crispier just being able to knock some of that overhang off. And if you didn't notice, I did use a little bit of hairspray. I, I like to use hairspray over like spritz and things like that just because I think spritz is just trash. Just my opinion. But I just use it to hold, to hold the hairs in in place so that when I do line it up it just comes out crispy and I don't have to worry about anything moving and all my hairlines I usually start in the middle and work my way to one side and then the other just to make sure it's, it's even now we're going to get started on our quarters my method to corners is just keep it natural and make sure it's a 90 degree angle. A lot of people are scared to go to that corner right there that you see me doing just because they think they're going to push it back. And what happens is a lot of people just leave that looking kind of rounded. You always want it to be a 90 degree angle. I want to get started with our fade. I like to just start with my open clipper and go about an inch up. Now here's where we start applying more pressure. Throw on that one and a half. We're gonna open that joint up and go all the way up. Not all the way up, but about to the uh, parietal ridge. The flick out towards the top just cause he's keeping that kind of squared off. We're gonna come back in afterwards and then shape it up basically. But right now we're just gonna go all the way around. Now I wanna hop it with the number one. I start with my number one uh, closed and just start taking that line out and working that lever up as I go up. And as you will notice, I cut all over the place. I don't ever stay in, like in order. Like right there, I just grab the one and a half. I'm just touching up some stuff. If you see something and you know how to take it out and you know what guard to grab, just grab it and go ahead and do it. It just saves you from having to come back later. Now here's where that sauce comes in. About to close that one and a half and take it up from where we left off with the open clipper. Basically, I'm hitting it with the corner right there. It looks like the whole blade, but I am hitting it with my corners. 
just to really detail it and keep that in that arch form just like how we have it since it is a drop fade most of my fades do have some type of arch in them just because i think it, it helps contour to the shape of the head better and makes that fade just stand out a little bit better as you get to the top we're actually really trying to flick as much as possible just to make sure we don't accidentally leave another line now we're taking the clipper without any guards any like that just shaping it up don't be scared to go in just make sure you don't leave any patches i'm basically just taking off the frizzy but here we're coming in with the clipper no guard starting to take out that line i'm basically just coming in and, and opening a little little by little like basically with guards i'll do like three to four guy like like three to four lever changes and stuff like that but basically with this i'm doing like five or six like just little by little by little just to really get that line up as you can see too there is still a little line down there we left from, uh the shaver that we're about to take out in a second and as you can see i am still touching things up i'll never just leave something alone you'll never see me just do a guy line and stop i'll really just always come back in and touch up come in with those cordless detailers uh, these clippers get a lot of hate and i'm gonna tell you why it's just because they're big and the angle on the top of them is kind of weird so it's kind of hard to, to see what you're doing when you're lining up but as you can see i use those and i don't line people up with them i work them like clippers just to get that ball line out i found that they're perfect for that and be sure to occasionally clean off your client just so you can be able to see if you left any hair anywhere else or like if you just see a line like right there you can see i got a little line in there still that i'll probably take out and there i go taking that joint out i'm in ohio so we're not allowed to use neck duster so at school they got us using that generic ass brush and blow dryers so it's better than napkins like we were using but you know we in there i'm just touching up touch up touch up touch up touch up touch up touch up i can't stress that enough man like it's never gonna be perfect off the first guy line you always gotta go back in but we switching over to the other side now basically everything i did on the other side we're gonna do it on this side so i'm gonna just like shut up now and let y'all watch this and i'll come back in when we start this beard off oh and one more thing i won't be using the razor in this cut just because it is at school and at my school we, we're not allowed to use the razor unless the client pays for it and my client here doesn't really care for the razor so we're just gonna do the best we can without it. Usually, most cuts I do at the school without the raise, just cause they don't let us use it without being paid for.
I was about to get started on this beard. I like to start off with like just a little low key guideline with the trimmer. Usually I'll just touch it up and then go in with the razor, but since we're not using the razor in this one, we're just kind of getting it nice and lined up. Going in and kind of fading it in. You're gonna work the fade in just like you would on the side. Like if you if you did a taper, it's gonna be the exact same concept, just in reverse. He does kind of have a patchy beard. So I'm gonna hook him up with the enhancements. So you guys will see a kiss job in this. I do use Kiss Express. I don't like Beijing at all. And I do use hair fibers on occasion. I don't really like the hair fibers just because they come out so like quick. But for sake of the video, and this cut was actually on Valentine's Day, so my man's had some stuff to to do that night, you know. So I hooked him up. Now, I'm just using a cleaning brush that comes with the clippers and just the kiss straight out the bottle. I don't mix it with water or anything, just straight out the bottle, dip the brush and go in. As you can see, I kind of just make a line with the kiss going in the shape of the beard and brush it right in. It almost instantly fades in. Same thing for the other side too. A lot of people talk a lot of trash about uh, enhancements. Um, talk about it's cheating and all that, but to me it's a skill within itself and it, it can make you some more money. These people want to look like how everybody looks on Instagram, so why not give it to them? Part of the job. Coming in with that hair fiber. I honestly don't even like hair fibers that much, man. Just because I had an experience with them and basically my hairline was in my pillow. <laughs> but um, what you're going to do with it is just kind of spray it in. People like to use the card, but I don't. I just kind of spray it right on and line it up. As you can see right there, I'm just going right in with the trimmer and just really getting it. It does make sharp ass lines. I ain't even going fake. But uh, you basically want to like mist it on. Not too much. You don't want it to be too dark. And then just use your trimmer and uh, remove the excess. And it's going to be the same thing for the other side. Uh, I like to just spray it around the hairline and just like not into the fade, but kind of like just so it so, so it doesn't look like it's just blunt you don't want it to be blunt you want it to fade in still and be natural looking Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, add me on IG, Snapchat, Facebook, all that type of stuff. Make sure you, I do follow back on Instagram too. So make sure you go ahead and like all my pictures and stuff like that. I will return the favor. Um, it's on.